What? To YouTube, and welcome to an insane morning for Yu-Gi-Oh! So much has been happening between the Adidas drop and the OTS Tournament Pack 20. So we're going to break down a ton of prices that are going to get absolutely wrecked by what may be one of the best OTS Tournament Packs ever. You've got a Ghost Girl that is highly format dependent ray which goes along main deck option with the other ultimate rares that historically are very high priced and a luber it turns out those 180p super pixelated zoom in leaks that everybody picked apart were very real i suppose but yeah these are the three ultimate rares and then the super rare section is kind of absurd neko Mane king we recently covered that buyout and we'll look at prices again herald of the orange light which was spiking due to a shizu tier limits Nimble Beaver, right on time. That was starting to go back up in price after the ban list as people were looking for different sprite versions and combos. And then you have Ninja Grandmaster Saizo. This I was going to cover as a buyout upcoming on Market Watch, yet here he is in the pack. Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. I remember when Farfa spiked this card. Not the most printings in the world fourth. King of the Swamp is a great choice. And I believe we get into the commons here because you have the three old these and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten usually super rares and i think a token uh it's not on the screen is usually included so i think king of the swamp might kick off the commons here not a hundred percent sure on that correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section you have blackwing armed wing which is kind of funny zombie stein actually only had two printings one being a jump promo hidden village of the ninjutsu arts was also on buyout mode and very very crucially in here, Naturia Sacred Tree, which had had multiple buyouts in the past. So I do think Ray will be atop the set, even versus a Ghost Girl. With how format dependent Cherries is, I just feel like you have Cherries being hyped up for formats it never saw play in really you need a tier zero format with extra deck summoning for this to be oh so effective in a format like spirals and all the buyouts really haven't been too fruitful in the past versus the actual metagame implication but ray it's cultural. You even have a manga specifically around Ray at this point, just so embedded in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. But Aluber, don't sleep on the mans. Brandon is getting played a ton. You have a ton of buyouts around this. Even the secret rare just recently spiked for Aluber. So really cool to see this probably one of the best OTS packs even though it's more timely you get a little bit of timely like timelessness around Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries but let's get into these prices again Saizo spiking right here I've already heard like the vendor versus buyer debate continuing on bad vendors and bad buyers a bad vendor doesn't excuse a bad buyer. Two wrongs don't make a right, and there are terrible, scummy, scammy buyers who are canceling their order on Sizos. You took the bet, you should take the order, but instead they're running away from it because they were mad over paying for this card into the hype. 19s, 20s, there was new support revealed. You have the already support hitting here in Darkwing Blast. So yeah, people running from their orders, that's pretty typical scum, but yeah. Yeah, just straight out of buyout mode, right into a reprint for a lot of these cards. Hidden Village of the Ninjutsu Arts, also you can see was spiking up here. Not as ridiculously, it's listed around $2 pretty consistently. The spike was from a dollar, a whole hundred percent. Nakomane King has so many interesting versions, including a Hero Clicks, but there's only three of them. One being the original from Magician's Force, a very hard to get set. Dark Revelations one, and Legendary Collection Joe world which are the legendary collections where the commons aren't the easiest thing in the world to pull and that was actually bought out to the highest proportion Herald of the Orange Light was in super buyout mode in preparation for a Shizu tier format. And you can see here, even Diviner of Herald had started to go up. I do expect some of that value displacement to probably go to Diviner or other things played within the deck. Because once this is way cheaper for people to obtain, you will see that. But also we've seen OTS commons and supers be very expensive for what they are in active formats. But the coolant from them continuously being pulled usually helps. It'll be interesting to see where that 
that does settle down. Nimble Beaver, three versions, one recently being the Obelisk Structure Deck. Good to see this reprinted into the ground a bit, as people will be needing two to three of them, of course, to play with, usually three. Naturia Sacred Tree reads, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you add a Naturia card from your deck to your hand, except Naturia Sacred Tree. You can only use one of the following effects once per turn, and only once that turn. You can tribute an Earth Insect Type Monster Special Summon a Level 4 or Earth Plant Type Monster from your deck. You can tribute one Earth Plant Monster Special Summon a Level 4 or Lower Earth Insect Monster from your deck. This gets played in certain stun versions of decks, but you also note that there's just so much insect and plant support coming out the wazoo. I think people were kind of sleeping on this one because everybody was pointing out the super rares. This is a pretty big reprint that, again, in its recent price history, you had the bump, chill out, bump, chill out, was getting so many buyouts with having only its one version. Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. I do again remember when Farfa topped with this, this spiked in price, but it's always been a bit expensive. The Super Rare, though, or common, my bad, did calm down over time, but being the non-hollow version, of course, people want the hollow. It's a funny floodgate that does work in certain formats, and I feel like has been on that back burner of the legacy cards that can end up doing something in Yu-Gi-Oh!, but it's still floodgate yep king of the swamp has so many versions but when we look in specifically Yu-Gi-Oh, this card is just not easy to get and uh let me see if we can get just king of the swamp there we go live editing done cheap you can see that every version is still above five dollars even legendary decks too which got rewaved at one point unlimited and you do have the supers here at eight dollars now this should be bringing this down decently in price because people really just wanted an accessible version hollow or not so i think you'll see the super rare from fusion enforcer start to pass all the other common versions even though they're you know some interesting ones but yeah nice to see and finally zombie stein yeah it was jump ultra rare and then super rare out of a special edition so it's not like this is access for everybody that was already there but it's a rank eight that also does have negation options that is a huge beat stick one of the biggest in the game 4500 nice to see konami proactively ahead instead of waiting for something to spike and trying to sell it this ots pack completely wrecked the market and looks great now if you've been under a rock you probably missed that there is an adidas collab but it is on the app only and that app was having some heavy traffic issues uh really having trouble loading certain ones out of stock then back in stock but right now it's looking like a ton of them are just straight out of stock the 11.5 came back right before i was recording this video probably gone by the time the video's up the rest of them were out of stock on the blue eyes shoes the dark magician shoes were a little more available for a while and then also the slides never updated a 12 or or 12.5 13 option at all 13.5 and 14.5 are sold out at the time of recording this video again i get people really really wanted these shoes i ordered from adidas canada thanks to having a friend in canada to ship to and then pay extra to ship for me i'm glad i did because i never even got a chance at the blue eye shoes in my size so very lucky to get those in 12s i'm a 12 to 12.5 but the blue eye slides never appear in that size so kind of disappointing same with the dark magicians i'm hoping i'll fit these 11.5s also for something that is in stock right now ami ami has up for pre-orders black rose dragon artwork series now the artwork series has rewaved multiple of their popular figures in variants and art forms i don't know that black rose dragon will get that treatment but Blue Eyes and Black Luster Soldier both got color variants of theirs, and the Dark Magician came in an Arcana form, so it seems like they're really good at trying to do that, but I, again, don't know that that will happen with this figure. We'll have to wait and see. Max quantity, three per household if you're trying to order together, and keep in mind a couple things. This price 
will be charged to you in September 2023. So you're seeing it at like 200 some odd dollars now. Well, we're at record the highs versus the yen in the last five years today. So this price very well could change and be more expensive by the time you're charged. And also international shipping will be charged at the end. So you're not seeing that price. That could be, you know, speedy delivery or I'm waiting three months to take the cheaper one. That could range from 35 to $70 depending on the size of this and it seems to be over a foot wide before we're even talking packaging so a very impressive size figure really great looking and so far at a super great price but keep in mind that price of the yen can definitely change over a year considering how much it has changed in just the last couple of months thanks for watching today's market watch please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation I know it's a lot more specific today a bit of merch that people actually care about for once on top of the OTS pack just coming in like a wrecking ball. Thanks for watching, everybody.